Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Wilkins, as of all, said how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take... Touchdown, Texas! wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. That receiver was so wide open as a quarterback, you just don't want to blow it. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you, and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback, so the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Sanborn looks ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Runs outside for a nice game. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Out of bounds at the 34. around the 47 yard line that is not easy to stop the quarterback hit his man on an out route and the defender was in man coverage as a defender in man coverage you cannot get beat deep and as a result the underneath routes are going to be there and as you can see it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs from the 47 yard line first down And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Short game there by the tailback, and he's still going to come away with a first down. He's a reliable ball carrier, as he showed right there. He got the two yards they needed for a new set of downs. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. Under heavy pressure. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. Somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. They'll bring him down right around the 30. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Kicks away, and he nails the long field goal. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 7-3, Texas. 
Wilkins gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27 yard line. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the link to the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. And they make the stop around the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line, second down. Texas is up four. Here's an opening. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Down he goes, around the 38-yard line. Nice run there. Brooks gets about four yards on the draw play. From their own 42-yard line, second down. And he's tackled at about the 49. Now well, he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Takes it left side, and he's brought down to the backfield. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Pass right, running back's got it. He's taken down at the 42. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Here's the eighth play of the series. Texas holds a four-point lead. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out at about the 29-yard line. I think the big thing for a defense when they face a screen is chasing it from the inside out, which means the defensive linemen are the key to slowing down a really well-executed screen pass. Because if you think about it, the offensive linemen are getting downfield blocking against the linebackers and the safeties. The defensive linemen have got to be able to recognize screen and then have the quickness to be able to chase the running back down from behind before he gets his momentum going and can outrun him. This is the 10th play of this drive. Tackle made around the 11-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 11. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. You know, it takes a lot of courage for these tight ends to go over the middle of the field to try to secure these catches. This time, he gets separated by a big hit from the football. We're at the 12th play of the drive. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Strong with the tackle at the six-yard line. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. He 
He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. He might have a chance. Brought down at about the 41. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From their own 41 yard line, it's first down. Caught out in the open. He's at midfield, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 43. From the 43-yard line, first down. They'll go ground, and he's stopped behind the line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. That'll bring up second and 11. Here's a quick throw. Incomplete, almost picked off. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Throws complete, he's got space to work. Tackle at the 36. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. Hey, in the box score tomorrow, it's not going to look any different than if he'd split the uprights. Points or points. Wilkins is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. The Longhorns are having a ton of fun down there on the sidelines. You can just see that everything's clicking for them. It's looking easy. Now, remember, it's still early in this football game. And if I'm the defense on the other side of the football, I'm trying to come up with ways when we're on the sideline of what we can do to stop this powerful offense. Texas holds an eight-point advantage. Makes it to the 22-yard line. from their own 22-yard line. It's second down. And they get the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. So the sack makes this third and very long. Fires complete over the middle. And he's taken down around the 34-yard line. From their own 34-yard line. First down. Ready, check, check. Back up. Back up. 
Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Pitch play to the left. Nice run to the outside. Third down again. Texas up by eight. Wide receiver screenplay. He's tackled at midfield. Number 30 with the tackle. The 50 yard line. First down. Gets rid of it. From the 50, it's second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He tackles him for a loss. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? We're at play number nine of this current drive. He guns it. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. They've got ten guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's tackled after positive yardage. We're through one quarter. The Longhorns in front by eight. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Up the middle for a nice game. from their own 31-yard line. It's first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Handoff inside. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Third and six. Ball on their own 35. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. at the 21, and he's tackled at the 25. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas is up by eight. And he's level at the 24-yard line. The defense needs to be careful. The safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, He'll be spaced downfield for the pass. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 24. Run. 
decent run here, right side. That's good for the game, seven yards. That'll bring up third and four. Caught and shoved out of bounds. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. Dumps it complete over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 43-yard line, first down. Let's go! He's going to try and scramble. Decides to slide. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. He throws in and out of his hand. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Texas holds an eight point advantage. Runs it and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Sack. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on him. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Lead and pushed out of bounds behind the line. That's a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down and 12. Ball on the 44 yard line. Wants to throw outside. That's incomplete. You know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open. He just misfired. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. Wilkins is the punter. at the 26. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas up by eight. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Brooks. Gains about four yards on the play. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch.
from their own 45 yard line. First down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Makes it to the 47. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Gets out to around the 38. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. They get nice yardage on that run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Texas is up by eight. Tackle made around the 22-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This is the 10th play of this drive. Here's the screen to the wideout. And he's tackled around the two-yard line. It's third and goal from the two. And they're trying to make this a two-possession ball game. Got his receiver. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. to his tight end. He's knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. Make a nice catch. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play.
First and ten. Ball on the 48. Nice run there. Houston will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 44 yard line. Zips it to the back. Tackle around the 41 yard line. Another first down, Brad, and right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. There he goes. Brought down right around the 20. the 16-yard line. 10th play of the drive. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. He's scrambling. And he can't get away from the pressure. Loss of four yards on the play. That brings him second and goal. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the seventh. That's a game of one on the That makes his third goal. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 22. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. He's tackled at the 21. So we played two quarters. The Longhorns lead 21-9. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football? 
ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, great, not to give away any turnovers. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. He fights forward to about the 26. From their own 26-yard line, second down. And he throws right away. Brady drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. He's out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Barron, the return man. He's taken down at the 34. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. He wants it all, and he's got it. He's all the way. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Lanborn is lined up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gives it up the gut. They bring him down in the backfield. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 24-yard line. They'll work the left. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He goes out of bounds at the 31. Wilkins to punt. Barron fields at the 29. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Set, 
Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. He gets to about the 31 yard line. That's good for a game of six. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. And he might want it all here and does. Touchdown. Big play. He's been on the receiving end of three touchdown passes. It's really not too crazy. He's just running good, clean routes and catching the ball when it comes his way. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Texas is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Longhorns coaching staff's got to be elated over on the sideline about what they plan to do with this wide receiver and the plan's coming to fruition. Absolutely, and they continue to be able to find ways to give him the football. That's the thing that's been probably most impressive, not just his ability, but how they've moved him around and got the football to him in different ways. It makes it very tough on the defense. They'll bring him down at the 33. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at the 37-yard line. job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. He scrambled. Slides down to the ground. yard line we've got a first and ten ball on the 48 where's it out to the right to the halfback there's a very impressive open field tackle tries to buy some time and he has it on the corner that's a great tackle at the 40 yard line here's the eighth play of the series wants to throw outside balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds From the 28-yard line, first down. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions, and especially 
when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. That close to being intercepted. They'll line it up again on third down. his receiver and that's a first down and he's pushed out of bounds setting up a first and goal and this is the 12th play of the drive hit before it can go anywhere. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the six. Touchdown, Houston! Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 24-yard line. The Longhorns had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you could say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 24. On play action, flares it and almost had it intercepted. the offense to have to go three and out. We're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Sneed is back to receive. Oh, excellent punt. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. And down he goes at the 49. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's going to try and scramble. And they got him. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you're definitely going to feel it the next day. They're about four yards away here on third down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, he's putting up huge numbers, and I think you can go back and look at every throw that he's made. It's like a human highlight film in one football game. And can you imagine looking at this video right now and being a defensive back? You just want to forget about this football game. It's, you, know, you ask the coach, please, coach, do we have to look at the film? Let's just move on to next week. All of his success has led to their advantage on the scoreboard. We're about set to start things up again. He takes it right side for a good game. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 24. the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Strike to his receiver no good. Is the putter. He puts it away and it's a great kick. Sneed fields at the 29 and he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Makes it out to about the 49. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's got the junior. Brought down at the 41. He's on the run, and he tackles him hard at the 40. the 40 yard line second down nice run there tackle around the 36 yard line the option is all about timing and on that play the timing was just off that's going to happen sometimes they call on the kicker for a long field goal maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter the Longhorns in front by 19 in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Wide open receiver and it's incomplete. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Quick throw incomplete, one of his receiver.
from their own 36 yard line. Second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Passes to the left and it's going the other way. He's at the 30. Tackle at the 26. When he was facing a big pass rush, the ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. It's first and ten. Ball on the 26. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Brown gains four yards on that reception. That makes it six and six. Makes the grab past the marker. First and ten. Ball on the 12. Passes in and it's picked off by the safety. Here he goes. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. Sanborn has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. hard at the 46 yard line and he's taken down at the 49 yard line from the 49 yard line second down hit immediately. He gets hit out of bounds around the 33 yard line. the 33 yard line it's first down gets it out to his receiver in a hurry and he's tackled at the 33 yard line that makes it second and ten
Defense coming and the ball comes out. I'll tell you, when a guy as big as this lineman gets his paws on a loose ball, you can pretty much forget about it. You're not getting the ball back from him. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Texas, up big. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That brings up second and nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Tackled after a decent pickup. Game of six on the play. That makes it first and ten. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 40. Here we go. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That's a team of 14 yards on the play. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 23. And they make the stop around the 20-yard line. Texas with a big advantage. Heading for the corner. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Longhorns. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offense coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Bounds around the 28 yard line. From their own 28 yard line, it's second down. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 36. Scrambled. And down he goes to 39 yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 39. Cobb gains about a yard with a short completion. Incomplete. 
There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Worthy is back deep to return the punt. Steps out of bounds at the 37. He showed a good burst there. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. And he stopped behind the line. It's second and 12. Ball on the 35. Just over two minutes in the game. Broke away from one. He makes his way to about the 48. That makes it first and 10. After a decent run up the gut. That's a five on the that makes it second and six. six. It's second and six. Ball on the 47 yard line. Let's go. Wide 80. Wide. He makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line. He's at the 30. He lost the ball. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. Push him out right around the 22 yard line. Here we go. Five, Five. And he's level at the 26 yard line. The Longhorns know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future. But for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance. And, and really, the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.